Whoa, hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. The new LCD Sound System album, band's first number one record. Congratulations to James Murphy and company, first number one record. Uh, however, my review of their new album, American Dream, uh, it's lukewarm, it's mixed, it's kind of all over the place. And in the comments, there's this growing sentiment that I went into the <laughs> into the record wanting to hate the album. I had to hate that record. I had to hate it. I had to, had to, had to hate it. There was even this uh, butthurt dude who uh, sort of ironically made this word-for-word -word remix of <laughs> Losing My Edge, but made it about me, um, saying that I had to be negative because my audience uh, are... are memers or something it was like you know really shallow and ridiculous critique uh, but there were a lot of comments certainly you know telling me that uh, I wanted to hate the record I had to hate the album blah 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 you know like let's let's explore this logic for a second here and you know kind of disprove it because it's actually not true uh, this is the first time you've ever come off as truly disingenuous says uh, Kobe you were so very obvious uh, uh, in being pissed at their reunion, and it continued to be obvious that you were going to uh, into it, that you uh, were wanting, expecting to be disappointed. I mean, I was expecting to be disappointed because I thought Call the Police and American Dream and Tonight were kind of lackluster singles, um, which is kind of the case for most records where I hear the singles and I think they're kind of lackluster. I don't think they're some of LCD's best tracks. I don't think it's their best work. Um, and keep in mind that this is not the mentality and opinion and point of view that I held leading all the way up until this album. I mean, when they reformed, it was annoying, but honestly, I didn't really have any opinions outside of like, wow, you guys kind of made a big to-do about, you know, exiting, and now you're back, like, less than a decade later. And uh, yeah, it's, like, objectively silly. And uh, when I heard that single that the band dropped in 2015, Christmas Will Break Your Heart, um, I liked that song. I was positive toward the track. And as I said in my review, like, even if James Murphy said, we did it for the money, blah, 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 blah. But if the record was good, the record would be good. And that's really it. You know, it's not like this is the first comeback record I've ever fucking reviewed. Or even that doing it for the money is necessarily a bad thing or hurts the album or makes the album uh, uh, bad, you know, um... Uh, regardless of the quality of the music on the album. I mean, Julian Casablanca said as much uh, about the Strokes getting back together in an interview with Brian Williams, you know, saying that, well, the money and the offers uh, for getting back together were just too good. And honestly, I don't think Engels is a horrible album. I think it's an okay album. Um, you know, certainly not uh, the worst record the band has ever recorded, but uh, I wasn't hating on that record because the band had gotten back together. And in my review of the LCD Sound System record, you know, again, I said that, well, if the album's good, the album's good, you know, and it doesn't really matter why the band gets back together or how silly sort of this reunion is or how silly sort of the way that they left was, in my opinion. But if the record's good, the record's good. Um, you assert that they're one of your favorite bands, so how can you know so little about them that you honestly think that the breakup was just a stunt? I mean, I never said that it was just a stunt. You haven't quoted me saying that it's just a stunt, so I don't know where this opinion or thought that you think me thinking it's just a stunt is coming from. I mean, obviously, they made a big deal of them breaking up, but do I think it was just a stunt? Um, no, I don't think it was just a stunt. And uh, that the reunion is just a half-hearted cash grab. I mean... Listen, you're telling me that I know so little about the band, so how, how could I how could I think this? I mean, I guess I know so little about the band that, I don't know, I guess, um, I guess I know so little about the band that I read this article over here, let's get it up here, in the New York Times with James Murphy and members of the band talking about the breakup and the reunion, and here we have in the article... Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> here we go. Nancy Wang talking about the reunion of the band right here, saying, It's crass to say that it was about the money, but it would be insincere to say that it wasn't a part of it. <laughs> 
come on, dude. Like, I never said that it was all about the money. I never said that it was only about the money. But I said that, you know, certainly making money was probably an influence there. And again, it would be insincere to say that it wasn't a part of the decision making in getting the band back together. Like, why do you have to be this dense? Like, how do you have to be so dense that you can't just accept reality? Like, why do you have to be so dense that you uh, just throw any nuance out the window? It either has to be that the band is totally just getting together out of the good of their hearts and they feel like they have this amazing record inside of them and they just have to get it out into the world. Uh, You know, why does it have to be either that or they're so greedy and blah, 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 blah. Like, obviously, the band, like any band out there, most likely makes decisions for monetary reasons and for monetary gain. That's just the system and the industry you know, the music industry that they live in, you know, but, uh, come on, let's not, let's not shit ourselves and just sit here acting like, oh, well, you know, it's, they're not getting back for, for the money. So basically you're telling me, I know so little that I went out there and I read an article where the band actually said that shit. So come on, stop, stop kidding yourself. Um, for a professional critic, this is very unprofessional. Well, I mean, listen, uh, Regardless of what your opinion of uh, my abilities or my videos are, this is still literally my profession, so I don't know. And I haven't really made my name on being professional. You know, I've just kind of made my living on being me and uh, and just kind of speaking honestly about my real opinions about albums. And as far as I could tell, uh, that's exactly what I did in this review, so I don't know. And, uh, you know, he's saying, uh, you mention, you throw, uh, you throw, you throw in this mention of, uh, blindly buying into the hype. Yes, because there's literally hype around the release of this album. Like nearly every music critic and reviewer that I've seen on the internet who is of note has been bending over backwards to worship this album. There's a lot of hype around the record that was very palpable at the time that I actually reviewed the album. You know, there's been a lot of excitement and a lot of hype around this album, just like there is around nearly every reunion album. Um, So I don't know really what you're getting at there. Like, it's not like the hype around this LCD sound system album this comeback is unique. There's hype around nearly every comeback. Um, our ring shifter says, I have to say, I'm not really into LCD sound system. I only know a couple of their songs, but even to me, it sounds like you kind of want to hate this one. A lot of the stuff you say almost makes it sound like this album has to suck. So the theory about bands becoming stale is true. I don't know the, blah, 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 blah. yeah, yes. Okay. I get it. There are bands that have come back and made greater records across longer periods of 10 years. I have reviewed some of them and given them positive reviews. I mean, my bloody fucking Valentine. Um, it's not like I'm against sort of comeback albums across the board, the pop group. It's not like every single comeback album that comes across my desk, I give it a negative review. Like I don't, I've reviewed so many goddamn comeback albums. (laughs) How anybody could sort of have this opinion makes no sense to me. And like how many comeback albums have you heard? Like a vast majority of them are kind of mediocre, but that doesn't mean that the band can't come back and come out with a great album down the road. I just reviewed that new goddamn DFA slash DFA 1979 record, the follow-up to The Physical World, you know, the album they dropped 10 years after You're a Woman, I'm a Machine, and I think it's really good. Like, it definitely surpasses the comeback record. And unfortunately, that's what kind of sucks about people and comebacks and reunions and attention spans, you know, and this sort of goes back to the hype thing. There are huge sort of waves of hype that surround comebacks and reunions. And then as soon as that comeback is gone, like it's like the attention sort of dissipates and goes away and nobody cares anymore. And it sucks, you know, because the thing is, yeah, sure. I thought American dream was a really mediocre album, but can LCD sound system come back and like pull through the great album in a couple years from now? Absolutely. So what the fuck? Uh, I know opinions are subjective, but did you honestly listen to this album? Did you just play, hit play, and then let your mind drift about how upset you were the band was getting back together? Literally feels like your feelings on the matter seeped into your review, making it less about the actual album, but uh, the idea of the album existing. Then why did I talk so goddamn much about the lyrics, the mixes, the instrumentation? Like, if if it was literally about that, then why did I spend a great deal of the review talking about everything except that? You know, it's it's like you guys just want to think that I hate the record for reasons other than what I actually pointed out. Like, may I point out here that these are very popular and very thumbed up comments, but none of them actually highlight anything I said about the album. 
Like, if you guys actually have a feeling about something that I said about the record, then point that out, then highlight it, you know? But instead, you're just like, well, I think you hated it, you know? I mean, and, and presenting to me, did you even listen to the album? Did you even watch or listen to my review? Like, I was literally pointing out things that I thought made the record weak or silly or ridiculous or boring. Um, and here's the last one. Uh, you know, let's face it, you're just mad the band got back together, so you basically want to hate on this one. Guys, th this, this is such a tired opinion. There's nothing to this opinion. I have been very frank and forthright about my opinions and feelings about this LCD Sound System album and the band getting back together. Just so I could say to you guys, here's my thoughts, here's my experience, here are my feelings, here's my point of view, so that you know where I'm coming from when I talk about this record. So everything that you need to know about my mindset leading up into this album is in the review. Okay, I told you guys in the review, but lo and behold, there are still people that completely just like slid those thoughts off the table, threw them into the garbage and just made up their own narrative as to what I thought about LCD Sound System getting back together, what I thought about the new album, what I thought about, you know, their potential to make another good record. And I really don't know what else to say. I mean, I've responded to these critiques. Um... I didn't want to hate the new LCD Sound System album. The album, in my opinion, is really just that lackluster. You know, it's just okay. It's not one of their best records.